I'm not sure. Maybe I, we can start? Yeah, no. yeah okay. okay. <laughs> because today <laughs> I have too many uh, symbols. So uh, let me first uh, <coughs> record uh, what I explained yesterday. So, uh, <coughs> so yeah. So today I would like to uh, explain the, the, main, the main technique to uh, estimate the the lower bound of uh, volume of the threefold. And uh, uh, the principle uh, I used to, uh, to, to, to get the birationality of phi m. Uh, unfortunately, uh, bo for, both m, for both m's, so uh, we, we can use the same technique, but uh, uh, with slightly different conditions. So, um, so I take I, I always assume uh, x to be a minimal threefold general type, and I assume that uh, uh, there is uh, some integer m not, so that p m not is at least two, and then uh, we can uh, take uh, a moving linear system uh, in the pluricanonical systems. So yeah, <coughs> very often we will take lambda to be m not k x. Okay. So, but in uh, some some time, uh, some time we we need to use a very general uh, setting to uh, to get uh, um, all kinds of inequalities. So, uh, so after I take uh, the, the the birational modification to resolve the indeterminacy in the uh, in this uh, rational map phi lambda, so I get a smooth model x prime, which is a non-single projective, and uh, so that uh, uh, we get uh, morphism from x prime into p n. Then I take the Stein factorization to get induced vibration from x prime onto some normal variety gamma, and here s is of course a finite morphism. So I can always write so m not pi of star k x, which is a Q-linear equivalent to uh, some some multiple of, of uh, some surface S. Here, surface, here, surface means uh, uh, generic irreducible element of the pi up star of lambda. So, uh, so exactly uh, when gamma, the dimension of gamma is, uh, is uh, greater than one, then S is nothing but a moving part. A general member is moving part of this uh, linear system. Otherwise, if uh, uh, gamma is, of, is a curve, then I just take S to be a, a general fiber of F. So, uh, so how to determine theta lambda here? So theta lambda is uh, either one, if uh, in this case, because from the uh, Bertini theorem. So otherwise, we can define this to be uh, the degree of some line, line bound on, on gamma. Of course, here uh, it's uh, yeah you can yeah you can directly define this to the degree of uh, the lower bound f lambda of the moving part. Okay. So in general, uh, especially in the last case. Uh, theta, theta lambda should be like this. Either it's uh, uh, dimension of uh, lambda plus one, uh, or uh, sorry, lambda, or this is uh, yeah at least gamma plus one. So in this case, uh, if gamma is uh, isomorphic to p one. Otherwise, okay. So this is a setting. So I want to <coughs> make uh, the following assumption. So all these are easily satisfied. So now from now on, I take I take a general, a very general uh, surface S. Take a smooth, a very general 
irreducible member S. So this is a, a smooth uh, projective surface of general pipe. Okay. Uh, suppose I have a I have a base point free linear system G uh, is uh, base point free linear system on S. And I pick a, 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 a take a, a general, a generic irreducible element in this uh, in this linear system, take C to be a generic irreducible element in this linear system. So of course, uh, C is a curve, smooth curve of genus at least two, because S is a general type. So uh, so now, uh, of course, we can we can have uh, something like this. So then, uh, since uh, uh, we know that uh, uh, this this is uh, nav and big Q Q divisor, pi up star of k x. Since k x is nav and big, so when we take the restriction onto this smooth surface, it's a nav and big Q divisor on S. So, uh, so this is uh, nav and big, and this is a given curve. So, uh, Kudaira lemma <coughs> says that says that uh, there is a Russian number, positive Russian number, beta, so that. Pi up star of k x s. So this is a larger than equal to uh, beta c. Okay, this is net net and big. Of course, this is beta can be can be very small, but anyway, it's, uh, it is exists. <coughs> it exists. <coughs> so uh, so so obviously we can uh, get uh, a very rough uh, inequality. So. Say uh, if we, if we time this, so if we 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 yeah we time uh, pi up sub k x square to both sides, and since this is an even big, so we can have m not k x square. So this is left side, and uh, this is. Greater than or equal to uh, pi half star k x s square. Okay, and since this is a, we have this inequality, so we get theta, lambda, and beta, and then finally we have uh, this pi half star k x. See, so this intersection is on x prime. So let me denote this. Uh, sorry. Yeah, sir. Yes. Um, can you explain this in the way where it's going Yes. Yeah, uh, this one. Uh, this is big. Yeah, this is big. big so you, uh, you take a very big, uh, very large positive integer here. So this has a lot of sections. Uh, it's easy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But this inequality is uh, from the Q Q uh, Q linear equivalence, of course. So here, beta is a Russian number. Russian number. Yeah, very can be very small. Yeah. So uh, I always set uh, this number uh, Kasai to be the intersection number. I up star kx. So this is a 
Of course, this is a positive Rush number because this is big, <coughs> nerve and big, and the C is moving. So this is a positive Rush number. So uh, we know, uh, suppose we know beta, we, 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 we have control on beta. We know theta, lambda, and suppose we know this, psi. So this is uh, theta, lambda, beta, psi. Then we can have a very effective lower bound for this, uh, for this volume. OK, so next, uh, so let me put this uh, the inequality one. So next, uh, uh, how to how to how to uh, estimate Kasai? Yeah. So uh, to to estimate Kasai, this is a, a very a very <coughs> delicate usage of a uh, 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 vanishing theorem and uh, uh, properties of linear systems. So let me uh, try to explain this. So, um, uh, no, yeah. So from now on, we can always uh, uh, write here. So let me let me write pi upstar of k x s. So this is a q linear equivalence to beta c plus h. Here, h is uh, effective q divider. So here, uh, this is uh, also effective Q divider. Effective Q divider. Okay. So um, so for the time being, let me assume that uh, uh, M is. Uh, Assume that M is large enough <coughs> yeah. finally we will uh, we will find how to yeah how to uh, yeah what condition uh, should be uh, added on on m so uh, for the time being we, we we just assume that M is large enough so which uh, so then uh, we yeah we want to study the by uh, the plural canonical map of phi m, or uh, the uh, the linear the linear system m k x prime. Okay, so we know that uh, this is uh, slightly larger than this linear system, uh, say k x prime plus. Um, so m minus one minus uh, something. So let me uh, because this is effective. So uh, one over theta lambda e lambda prime. Okay. Uh, sorry, I should uh, yes. Uh, here I should I I should not uh, <coughs> sorry. Here I should write uh, this uh, m <coughs> minus one <coughs> pi of star k x, yeah. Because this is a q divisor, so uh, I should take the roundup. Okay. So uh, suppose uh, that uh, M is uh, large enough w so that uh, M uh, minus, uh, yeah, so M minus, yeah, so now I, uh, so now I can calculate this. Uh, if M minus one minus, um, <coughs> yeah, uh, minus, Yes, uh, pi up star k x minus s minus one over theta lambda e lambda prime. So this is a, a numerically <coughs> equivalent to uh, m 
minus m naught over theta lambda minus 1 pi up star kx. OK? So the right hand side is uh, never big whenever this is positive. OK? And then uh, the Kawamata fever vanishing. Vanishing uh, implies that uh, we don't have H1. So H1 kx prime plus, uh, say, so this is a Q divider. So this is m minus 1 pi of star kx minus s minus 1 over c dot lambda d lambda prime. So this is a 0. OK? And then we have the surjective map. So, uh, so this is uh, h naught of x prime. And we have kx prime plus, so this is uh, m minus 1 pi of star kx. <coughs> OK? Minus 1 over theta lambda e lambda prime. So this is uh, mapped onto the, this group, S. And we have uh, Ks plus round up minus S restrict to S. OK? So this is surjective, or this is exact. OK? So now, uh, so here, I put star here to just to mean, uh, yeah, mean this. Uh, yeah, mean this. Yeah. So this is a star. Uh, this is star. OK? So now, uh, let me, yeah. Do uh, let me do on the linear system on the surface S. So here we go on uh, writing this. So K uh, yes. Well, yes. Yeah, because now here you have to you the 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 previous the the previous one is. Uh, yeah, the, you how, to, how how can you get KS? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> so uh, so now uh, the the prop the simple property of a roundup tells you that this if you have this minus s so s is a divisor so this is a, when you restrict to s so this is larger than star minus s raised to s, OK? But uh, here you, you see that this is, a, uh, yeah, as we have seen, this is a never big divisor, because this is numerically equivalent to this one, OK? So this is a, a something, yeah, so let me, let me denote this by, yeah, so let me denote this by Lm, so this is a, Q divider, which is star minus s restrict to s. We know that this is a numeric equivalent to m minus m naught c dot lambda minus 1 pi of star kx s. OK? Suppose m is large enough so that this is positive, then this is a, a nav and big Q divider on s. So that's, then uh, this problem is, uh, uh, is, uh, is induced to the same problem. So it asks you Ks plus Lm. So this is a linear system on surface S. And we go on uh, restricting to the curve C. OK? How can we do this? <coughs> 
So we, we go on the same story. And uh, you see that uh, here we have this relation. <coughs> we, have a, we have a moving curve family C here. So we have this. Uh, this. OK? So uh, it's, uh, uh, we, we do the same, same thing. So similarly, uh, since uh, uh, LM minus C minus 1 over beta H, note here that H is effective. So when we, yeah, when we, when we, when minus uh, effective divided, this is sm slightly smaller than LM. Okay, so this is numerically equivalent to, say, uh, yeah. So this is uh, uh, like uh, m minus m not by theta lambda minus one minus one over beta pi of star kx. So when beta is uh, large enough, w w w w I mean that uh, m is uh, so this is uh, this is positive. Then uh, this is uh, and big, and then uh, the vanishing theorem implies that h one of uh, s k s plus round up l m minus c minus one over beta h. This is zero. Okay, and then uh, you get the surjective map from uh, H not S K S plus L M minus an effective Q divisor. Okay, and this maps onto H not C, and you have K C plus. Yeah, so this is a. Uh, uh, L M minus C minus one over beta H restrict to C. Okay, so let me denote <coughs> by divisor, by this device, denote this device by D M. Okay, so we can estimate uh, this degree D M. Okay, so actually, uh, the degree of dm. So this is uh, since c is never and big, and this is round up. Round up means uh, you add some effective combination of uh, some divider with uh, <coughs> coefficient smaller than one, but this doesn't affect our estimate because c is never. So this is uh, larger than or equal to alpha m. So what do I mean alpha m? Alpha m is uh, uh, m minus m not by theta lambda minus 1 minus 1 over beta and uh, pi of star. So that, that is psi. OK? So this is a Russian number. So, uh, so now I have. I have two uh, key, key key relations. One is uh, uh, this relation. Say, um, sorry, ah, this is one, and here we I have two. So both uh, uh, these relations, one and two, tells me that uh, whenever alpha m is Strictly larger than one, so it's uh, uh, it's well known that on a curve of genus two, or uh, cur curves of gen a general type, so you have a divisor. You have divisor K C plus D M, and the degree yeah, D M is a divisor, so the degree is at least two. So uh, this divisor or this linear system is best point free. Okay. So this divisor is best point free. That means the moving part of this divisor, when you take the restriction, you restrict to C, is, has degree at least uh, 
uh, this this degree because this is base point this is base point three. So uh, and then we uh, we can easily uh, calculate the degree. So of course uh, this this relation. So so this group maps onto this. So from uh, from the language of of the, of the linear system, that means uh, the moving part of the of this of this linear system. When you take the restriction onto the surface S, so this is a greater than or equal to the moving part of this linear system. But uh, on the other hand, the, the moving part of this linear system, when you take the restriction onto this curve C, that is, uh, yeah, this 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 linear system. So uh, from yeah, so so the relations one and two all together they imply uh, the m pi of star kx. When you take the intersection with c, so this is larger than or equal to this degree. So this is a degree of kc plus the roundup of alpha m. Okay, so this is a uh, yeah, this is a a very uh, very effective inequality. So let me put this as two. Okay, so when can we have this the inequality? When alpha m is posit strict positive, uh, strictly strictly greater than one. So of course, when m is large enough. Okay, so. So if m is large enough, alpha m is larger than this. And then you, from, uh, from this inequality 2, you have m psi larger than degree of kc plus. So when you take the roundup, roundup is, uh, is uh, larger than uh, alpha m, of, of course. So m minus m not theta lambda minus one minus one over beta psi. Okay, so this uh, this uh, directly implies that uh, so yeah m here you have m psi here you have m psi. So finally it's uh, easy to see that we have m uh, psi is at least degree of kc. Then m not by theta lambda plus one plus one over beta. Okay. So anyway, uh, we have a, a initial estimate for psi. So at least we have, a, yeah, control on psi. So this is uh, inequality three. Uh, interesting point is that uh, inequality two uh, can help us can help us to to optimize uh, the psi. So I, uh, if I have time, I will finally I will uh, study a very special case and show you how to optimize this yeah, we, for, for, for many special cases. <coughs> so, uh, so one, yeah, I, I'm left one, yeah, one, 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 one place which is not, uh, not certain. Uh, that is uh, here. I, yeah. Here I, I put this assumption. So G. So how how can I find this linear system G? So this linear system usually uh, should be related to the in uh, in in from uh, from the uh, intrinsic uh, property of this S. Usually, I take G to be uh, canonical. Or bi canonical or yeah tri triple canonical uh, systems of this S, okay. So then uh, then uh, uh, the point is, so when you have have uh, G and how to estimate beta. So this depends on the dimension of gamma, okay. So from now I will uh, I will yeah. <coughs> I will do a more concrete. Calculation. 
okay. No, uh, this does not depend on singularity because it's, uh, we don't care so far. Yeah, don't care singularity. Yeah, because we yeah we we begin with uh, uh, minimal model and take a blow up. So everything is down the smooth model x prime. So the only point is we have to yeah uh, pull back uh, the uh, kx and. Uh, uh, then uh, we do we do we do everything. So this works for a very general, minimal threefold of general type. Okay. So uh, so now uh, I I discuss this with uh, yeah uh, with according to the dimension of gamma. So I will show you how to how to deduce the inequality for the lower bound of uh, of, of the volume. So this is a yeah uh, essentially a theory of uh, uh, to estimate uh, lower bound of volume. Uh, and then uh, how can we uh, study birationality? The birationality is not far. Uh, yeah, as, as you see, uh, first uh, we, we restrict everything onto the surface. And then we restrict everything onto this moving curve. So, so the, the key point is uh, suppose uh, this linear system uh, when m is large enough so that this linear system m k s can distinguish different general surface s, and also it can distinguish uh, different general curves c here, and uh, plus uh, the last property that uh, uh, when we restrict this linear system onto the smooth curve c, it gives the birational map. Then we are done. Okay. So in order to assert that uh, this linear sy system gives a birational map on the curve C, it's clear. You 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 ask. You need this uh, alpha m to be at least two, okay? Strict, strictly than two, uh, unless uh, this this curve is uh, hyperliptic. In the hyperliptic case, uh, it's uh, you just uh, yeah, need uh, alpha m to uh, yeah alpha m to be yeah, this is enough when C is hyperlytic. In general case, if it's a non, uh, uh, no, sorry, uh, in non-hyperlytic, non-hyperlytic, uh, uh, alpha m should be larger than equal to two. Then we, we know that this divisor or this linear system gives a Birash map from C, and then we are done. Okay, so uh, essentially it's something <coughs> like, uh, uh, it's something like, uh, <coughs> Yeah, this is, this is a volume. So when uh, alpha m is strictly larger than two, and then you you know that k c plus d m. So this is birational. Okay. So uh, if we uh, plus two two condition two more conditions. So one is. Uh, uh, m k x prime distinguish different uh, general surface s and s prime and uh, second uh, m k x prime when you restrict onto the surface s it can distinguish uh, different moving curves C and C prime. Yeah, plus these uh, two conditions, and then uh, you will see that phi m is by Russian. Okay, so. Uh, I I don't mention too too much on the uh, how to how can we uh, distinguish yeah, general S and general C. This is also uh, application of uh, <coughs> of vanishing theorems. So this is not uh, not so hard. The main point is uh, uh, this technique. <coughs> okay. So uh, now let me do case by case. So uh, uh, do some calculation. Uh, how can we study this? Every 
Yes. No, it's not necessary. But uh, yeah, for, from my experience, uh, uh, when this is, uh, yeah, alpha m is uh, greater than 2, then usually a 1 and 2 are satisfied. This, is, this can be, yeah, can be uh, verified expli uh, explicit by <coughs> exclusive by, by the vanishing zero. <coughs> Yeah, to, to verify this uh, uh, one and two, it's uh, uh, comparatively easier. So uh, now uh, I want to do some very special case. So for example, uh, first let me do um, uh, the case um, uh, dimension of gamma equals to three. Okay, so this, is a, this means that uh, uh, phi m naught is already generic finite. So this is a very easy case. It, uh, yeah, we, we don't, uh, we don't, uh, we don't have to use this technique. So I just uh, uh, omit this case. Of course, we can use this technique, but uh, uh, let me do this case equals to two. So I have a, I have a induced a vibration f from x prime onto this gamma. Gamma is a normal surface. The general fiber is a curve C. Uh, so a C is a fiber. So this is a genus. Yeah, C is a general fiber. So how can we? Yeah. So here I have this C. This this C means this fiber. But uh, so let me. For the time being, let me like let me put this like as uh, sorry I can't because this is a uh, this is a dimension two uh, anyway this is C uh, C C not okay so how can can I choose uh, the 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 linear system G so I I take this G to be simply to be uh, S restrict to S. Okay, so this is uh, naturally uh, a pencil on the surface S. Okay, and then uh, how can we uh, get beta? So it's uh, easy to see that. Uh, uh, so uh, S over S. So this is a numeric uh, S restrict to S. This is a numeric equivalent to uh, some beta. Times C, so C, C is uh, so C is uh, uh, in the same algebraic class with C naught. So I can remove this C, C naught. Okay. So uh, beta, how how can you decide beta? So from the property of linear system, so beta should uh, uh, be at least uh, H naught of S minus one. Okay. Suppose we take uh, lambda to be m naught, then uh, this is, uh, yeah, if, oh, yeah. When we when we take uh, lambda to be m naught of k x, in this case, then it's uh, easy uh, to p m naught x minus two. Okay, so yeah, we we clearly we have beta. And then uh, we have everything, yeah. Here we have everything. <coughs> yeah. 
So uh, we have uh, beta here, and uh, we have uh, psi, yeah, here. <coughs> and uh, everything is determined, so we can have the lower bound. But uh, uh, I mean, uh, the optimization depends on the number, uh, on, on, on the value of, of this. Uh, let me do a very special case. For example, uh, this is uh, also a very extreme case. So now uh, assume we are doing on PM not S equals to 3, because you ask uh, for this condition. So this at least to be 3. When this is 4, the, the, or everything is better than uh, this case. So uh, let me assume that PM not S is 3. So then uh, we, we, we take uh, G to be, uh, we have, then we have beta to be 1, OK? And uh, from the inequality uh, 3, then we have psi, yeah. So we, uh, of course, Kc is uh, at least 2, degree of Kc. So then we have psi at least uh, uh, so this is a uh, two, and uh, uh, yeah. So uh, m not by theta lambda, theta lambda, theta lambda equals to equals to one by definition. So this is one plus one plus one. Okay. So this is a uh, two over m not plus two. Okay. So, <coughs> yeah, for simplicity, let me let me only consider m not to be to be one or two. Yeah, when m not is uh, uh, is uh, is larger, it's uh, it has same calculation. So, uh, yeah, for example, let me assume that m not is two. Okay, so this means that uh, uh, we have, uh, yeah, we have. Uh, uh, m not 2, uh, then uh, we have beta 1. Uh, we have psi, here we have psi at least uh, uh, 1 half. Uh, OK, we have degree of Kc is at least 2. So uh, yeah, the, the inequality tells you that K yeah, kx cubed larger than uh, uh, 1 over 2, and beta is 1, and psi, OK? But of course, this is uh, very weak. So let me optimize this. To optimize this, I, uh, yeah, I should uh, take m, yeah. We yeah we, we know that uh, m not over one plus one plus one over beta. So this is uh, uh, two. This is uh, this is uh, four. Okay. So uh, if I take m to be seven, then I have uh, alpha m. So this is uh, seven minus four psi. So so this is a uh, larger than or equal to 3 over 2. So this is a strict larger than 1. Then uh, my, my theory tells you that we have uh, m psi, 7 psi. So this is uh, larger than or equal to uh, degree of Kc. So this is a degree Kc plus alpha m round up. OK? So this is uh, larger than or equal to 2 plus 2. So then I get psi larger than or equal to 4 over 7. OK? So this is better, much better than this. OK? So we can try, keep trying this. But uh, finally, we will uh, get uh, optimal. Yeah, at least from, from this, uh, this inequality, you get optimal. Uh, as what you get, and finally you you will 
see that. Actually, in this case, you will, uh, yeah, we we have a, yeah, yeah, reasonable lower bound. Okay, so this is a this is a uh, the the case when dimension of gamma equals two. But this case is a, a relative easier. So uh, if we are doing on the uh, case dimension gamma equals to one, so this is a really a challenge. For example, uh, if we consider gamma equals to one, so let me let me do the most difficult case, say gamma equals to p one. Of course, uh, g gamma can be positive, but uh, that is a relatively easier case. So let me do the most difficult case here. So uh, here we want to, <coughs> yeah, we want to choose uh, uh, very uh, correctly choose the, the linear system G. So usually uh, we we yeah we, we have induced vibration here so x prime gamma. So this is uh, p one. So here uh, f is a fiber. So this is a surface of general type. Okay, so we have a pi up star of kx restrict to f. So this is an f and a big divisor. But on the other hand, uh, this is clearly smaller than k of f. But since this is an f and a big, so from the uniqueness of uh, the Sarisky decomposition, so this is actually uh, smaller than uh, sigma of up star kf naught. Here, let me denote by sigma the contraction onto the minimum model. F naught is a minimum model. So um, usually, yeah, uh, for a general surface of general type, PG can be zero. So you cannot uh, uh, take uh, uh, this linear system to be uh, the, the canonical system. So mostly, we can take uh, Take G to be smaller than the two sigma of star KF naught. Yeah, you know that for any surface of general type, uh, a bicanonical system so P two at least is at least two. Now in most cases, actually, when PG is uh, <coughs> when PG is positive, two uh, K is uh, base point free, so it's easy to do this. Uh, yeah, so we we have uh, several cases, but uh, then uh, how how can you yeah how how can you um, to to get better? You want to get better, but uh, uh, here uh, so the new technique is uh, uh, effective usage of uh, uh, Kawamata's extension theorem. So Kawamata's extension theorem tells us that uh, when uh, Kawamata. Yeah, Kawamata's extension theorem tells us that. Um, so, uh, so, so when when M is uh, large enough, you have uh, you when you study M, k x prime plus f. So this linear system, when you take the restriction onto f, so this is exactly M. Kf. Okay. So uh, <coughs> yeah, and then uh, we know that uh, we have a relation uh, theta theta lambda somewhere. Yeah. So uh, so if I if I put the theta lambda here, then I put the theta lambda here. So. Um, <coughs> And then, uh, using the best point freeness, you just consider the, the, the moving part of the linear system on the left, and the moving part on the on the right. <coughs> so the best point freeness tells you that the moving the moving part is exact, exactly m theta lambda sigma up star kf naught. So uh, you will uh, yeah you. It's uh, it's not difficult to see that 
uh, you will get uh, pi up star kx raised to f. So this is uh, larger than or equal to uh, theta lambda over m naught plus theta lambda sigma up star kf naught. <coughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, originally, we 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 only use our method to deduce this inequality, but uh, our result is weaker than this. Our result says that this is a uh, uh, larger than this minus uh, yeah here minus some very <coughs> small minus some very small positive integer here. Here, epsilon can be as large, as small as possible. So, <coughs> but uh, this this does not affect our uh, estimation. But then, uh, uh, in some occasions, uh, Kalmata told us that uh, you can use this, and then uh, this inequality can be very naturally obtained. So, yeah, thanks uh, to his extension theorem. So now we have a, a slightly better estimation. So this means that uh, it's easy to get beta here. So suppose this is, a, if you take a g to be 2 sigma up star kf naught, then uh, beta is uh, this divided by 2. OK, anyway, so uh, from, uh, from uh, <coughs> the technique, everything is OK. Yeah. So uh, yeah, uh, in general, uh, to treat a surface of general type, it's uh, yeah to to apply this uh, surface theory is uh, a very delicate, delicate, uh, tricky, because you know that especially when this surface has uh, volume one, okay, yeah, when when k square k f not square is uh, is is at least two, then we have a better, uh, better estimation. The 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 weaker case is uh, when kf not square is one, <coughs> and then we have to uh, choose uh, a very suitable uh, moving linear system on f. And uh, this, uh, yeah, such that this is smaller than this. So uh, let me do, yeah, do one case. I hope I have time to do one case. So let me do uh, a very typical case when f is a one two surface. So again I will uh, do a special case. So I still, uh, so let me assume that m naught is 2, OK? And gamma is uh, p1. And uh, assume that p m naught of x is 2. I take lambda to be m naught kx. So then uh, we know that uh, theta lambda is 1 by definition. OK, uh, and uh, I have an induced vibration f from x prime onto gamma. So I assume that the fiber f is a, a one two surface. What do I mean here? I mean that uh, kf naught is one and pg f naught is two. 
Okay. So after modular further Barash mod modification, we can always assume that uh, uh, already on KF, the moving part is already base point free. So I take uh, G to be the moving part of KF. So uh, I have a curve C here. In this, of course, for this case, we know that GC is a uh, this is a genus two curve. And uh, yeah, as I said, I assume that modular further barrage modification, I take uh, further by, yeah, this, this is already base point free. Otherwise, we just uh, take blow up, yeah, which is over the, um, the relative canonical map of, uh, of this F. Then we, we are done. So this is a, yeah, this is base point free. Uh, so, but on the minimal model, uh, so this is, uh, has a one by point, as uh, it's well known. This, this is F naught. So after blow up, you have uh, this. And F is uh, further blow up. So maybe something like something. Yeah. So anyway, this is a, a general, general curve. C is a pencil. So this is a rational pencil. OK? So um, if I take this. And I know that uh, uh, theta, uh, what is beta here? So beta is here. So beta is theta is so one over three, right? So, <coughs> so I have beta is one over three. Okay, by by my yeah by Kawamata's inequality of there. So uh, we have everything. So. From the inequality three, we have psi is uh, uh, two, so this is uh, m naught is two by one plus one plus beta is uh, one over beta is three, so uh, four six, <coughs> so this is one third, right? Yeah, this is one third, and then uh, if I take m to be, so I need four here. So uh, six uh, to be 10, okay? Then uh, I get alpha 10 to be 10 minus uh, six psi. So, so this is uh, larger than equal to four over three. So this is uh, strictly larger than one. And then uh, the inequality two tells me that uh, uh, 10 psi is uh, at least two plus two, okay? So I get psi two over five. This is uh, already better than this. So we can keep doing this in this way. And finally, we get uh, yeah, optimized estimation. So uh, in this case, I think, uh, Finally, maybe you can get the one, uh, one and a half psi. Uh, so anyway, we, we have an uh, effective lower bound, say k x cubed is larger than. Uh, so here is one over three. So beta is uh, one over three and psi uh, two, five, okay? So, uh, <coughs> Ah, yes, so we get, we get this lower bound, okay? So, uh, so I just, uh, I just uh, explained the main idea. <coughs> uh, sorry for more details, but anyway, uh, if, yeah, it's, uh, it's not hard to, to do uh, this, uh, this calculation. So uh, finally, I will use a couple of minutes yeah, to e explain what uh, I will do uh, next next lectures. So the main point is uh, the, the, the geography of, uh, of, of geography of threefold. So for what I mean, so, uh, w so what I mean for geography here is uh, yeah, in my, my specific meaning. So, uh, so let me compare. So if we yeah, study on the surface of general type, we have two lines. Okay, this is not a line and this is a, Miao Kai Yao, and every surface corresponds to some 
integral point in this area. So this is a famous uh, surface geography. So for threefold, now I think it's, a, it's really uh, time to consider similar problems. For example, here is what I, uh, what I, what I uh, designed. So I have this to be the volume. So let me only consider, yeah, it's uh, equivalent to consider minimal models, OK? So here I consider a geometric genus, PG of x, OK? <coughs> so in the right, uh, right part, I only consider PG x2. So this also means that on the right, on the right side, I only consider the geograph on delta x equals to 1. But on the left side, I will consider <coughs> the case, well, uh, delta of v is uh, at least 2 and smaller than 18. OK? So we have 2 here, 3, and, and lastly, 18. We have only one, one point here. But uh, uh, as, I, as I already announced uh, in the, in last yesterday, uh, I have some lower bound here. Anyway, I have something here. So uh, the point is, so uh, can, you, can you prove that all this lower, lower point is uh, optimal? So on the other hand, can you, can you have upper bounds? For the volume, OK? So of course, this uh, I mean ratio here is wrong. Uh, <coughs> but on the other hand, we want to find uh, similar things like uh, what we are doing on the, we were doing on surface of general type. So so far, we have uh, uh, at least we have uh, a very interesting inequality here. It's uh, like uh, Norton's inequality. So I will explain tomorrow. But uh, uh, a very interesting point is, uh, do we have something similar to Miyoka Yang? Uh, unfortunately, we can, we don't, uh, I, we can, yeah. A recent, a recent work, my, my joint work with uh, uh, Zhi Jiang in uh, Paris, Paris, Paris Su, uh, we, we constructed some new examples, which shows that uh, you cannot have uh, some Linear line bound, uh, uh, linear linear upper bound here. It's wrong here. Uh, I mean, in terms of PG, but uh, you don't have any other means to uh, to find inequality in term in terms of chi because uh, for threefold, chi is not necessarily positive, not necessarily negative, so uh, it's uh, hard to say. So uh, this is so far what. Uh, what uh, yeah, we can understand. So finally, I will uh, raise some open problems. So uh, tomorrow, I will uh, introduce uh, interesting, interesting notors inequality here. And uh, uh, the last day, I will uh, show you some examples, which, which tells you that it's impossible to have some line here. But uh, maybe you have some, yeah, some curve here. But uh, I don't know how to express this. OK. So this is what I want to say today. <coughs> OK, thank you for the speaker question. And I missed the point. Yes. So on your left hand side, we have this uh, delta x bigger than zero. Uh, well? Uh, in the picture, just in the picture. Yeah, uh, here. Okay. Yes. No, no, in the other picture. Right? In the geography. Geography, yes, 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 here. Of course, this, this is a k square uh, to be money. This is for surface. Yes, the, left, yeah. the, the left side of the right picture. Yes, here. Yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't have upper bound here. Okay. Uh, but uh, so this is a unique case. Uh, sorry. So this, this you don't have to do. But uh, uh, 17 and 16 you, you don't have to, because this does not exist. But uh, uh, then 15, we have some cases, but uh, 
The main point is, uh, can you verify the existence here? You want to, 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 to verify the existence uh, up to uh, 13. So here is 13. From, from, from 12, so this, is a, this should be an infinite family. From 13, it's, uh, we list all possibility. Sorry, uh, I, didn't, uh, I didn't write this, uh, yeah, explain this very explicitly. Uh, when delta is greater than, uh, is bigger than, uh, is, larger, uh, is larger than 13, so all possibilities are listed. So what we, we are going to do is uh, find examples to verify existence. But uh, uh, between 2 and 12, so uh, we don't have upper bounds. We have lower bounds, but uh, we, don't, we are not sure whether lower bounds are optimal or not. And on the right, yeah, we, we, we have, now we have one, one line. Uh, of course, this is a still in a special case. Sorry, yeah. And uh, uh, upper side, we, we, yeah, we can prove you cannot have linear upper bound. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, this is only theoretical. I, uh, I, I have nothing to do with uh, examples because, uh, you know, it's uh, yeah. We need new method to construct examples. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, no. I cannot characterize. There are infinite, infinite, infinite number of threefold on this line. But so far, no, no, no examples uh, in lower area. Uh, I will show you uh, tomorrow. Yeah. <coughs> if there are no other questions, then mm. thank the speaker again. Okay.